Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this special bulletin. A little bit of extra information came out about Concord and some of the Firewalk Studio devs preview earlier this week, courtesy of good old Smash JT. And well, let's go give it a look, see what he's got to say over here on SmashJT.com. Insane Firewalk Studios dev explains why Concord flopped before delving too deep into Firewalk Studios, I want to first invite you. Now, we're going to go ahead and go through this invite because, well, I'm really considered I'm going to talk to you about it later, Smash. I'm going to send you a DM. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Smash over here is becoming a, asking people to become a member for $5 a month, gain early access to some of his, his uh, articles, which, hey, why not? He's doing all the heavy lifting. Why not go give him a little subscription, help this man out, doing the work that is so mind-numbingly painful we definitely appreciate it, Smash. Keep up the good work. I'm going to send you a message later. Firewalk Studios already under scrutiny for the beta release. That was a joke of what many, including myself and yours truly, are calling the impending flop, Concord. That game is dead in the water. It's also grappling with significant internal strife, according to a whistleblower. The secret... Let's see. These secret details shine a light on not just the operational failures, but the personal dynamics that might be influencing the studio's output. This game is DOA, so what on earth, I wonder, what could have happened behind the scenes? Let's find out. You know, get woke, go broke. Okay, now Smash, I'm going to criticize you on a few things. Uh, this is my personal opinion. Everybody do you. You do you. Everyone wants to report. Use the term woke. Me personally, I try to use other words because it's become such a mess as far as trying to define it and whether one side or the other wants to take you seriously. So my only recommendation to anyone out there, if it gets your views, use it. This is the algorithm that we're, all, we're all fighting with. If that word gets you views, gets you them clicks, keep on using it. That's just a personal opinion on my part. But I digress. I know, surprise, right? This place is where that mind virus goes to mutate. Smash JT could have this little tweet, tweet, post on X, I guess. Let's see. Firewalk Studios, the studio behind the impending Concord flop, has serious internal issues. One of their devs, Lisa Brown, a.k.a. Wortle, yeah, Wortle, Ugh. come out as non-binary. That's fine. More power to you. And forced everyone at the company to call her Professor? Oh dear. Oh dear. Lisa Brown, who goes by Wortle on Twitter, now in protected mode after being exposed. Shocker, I know. The individuals who just love, we accept open discourse and criticism and we want to talk to everybody, ends up privating or protecting or blocking people constantly. A developer at Firewalk recently declared themselves as non-binary. Irrelevant, personally. I, yeah, not what I would put in the news, but hey. Whatever. And required all co-workers... This is the fun part. Required all co-workers to refer to her as professor within the workplace. Something she does not have any professional credentials for, but hey, details. <laughs> Here's where it gets crazy. That's where it gets crazy? It gets better? This change, according to the source, has led to enforced company-wide adjustments in address and interactions, meaning have taken on a weird life of their own, characterized by phrases like, quote, teaching, learning with the professor, pretentious much, which, as reported, have not been universally well received by the staff. I can't imagine why. Why would that not be so well received? My goodness, I'm going to call my boss professor. What? <laughs> How about emperor? Lord all... No, that's a whole... That's sacrilegious. Let's not go there. But many who work there are afraid to speak up. Big shocker, I know, when you declare yourself as non-binary, suddenly become... Suddenly, whether you agree with me or not, this is just the way it seems to be. This is how it comes across. You suddenly become part of a protected class. Cannot be criticized. Cannot be made fun of. No jokes at your expense. You must listen to everything that they say. Is that the way it should be? Maybe we actually do want equality, but let's continue. Many who work there are just afraid to speak up due to a very left-leaning political environment, and they work in fear of repercussions for trying to speak out. That seems to be the norm across many industries nowadays. People just, they agree with the things that my channel and other channels like me, they agree with the things that we say, but they just 
They're afraid to come out. They're afraid to speak out for fear of repercussions, fear of losing their job, fear of being ostracized from the industry that they love so much. And it is unfortunate to try and say cancel culture isn't real. Yes, it absolutely is real. It's not consequence culture. It's a bunch of screeching blue haired eels, land whales who want nothing more than to justify their existence by destroying other people's lives. That is how they build themselves up by destroying others. Brown's influence appears to extend into more contentious areas. The whistleblower details how Brown has been vocal about their political beliefs, okay, expressing a disdain for guns. So, yes, you heard that right. This dev doesn't... Wait, 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 wait. You're working on a, a, on a team first-person shooter. Okay, let me try to wrap my head around that one. You're working on a video game with guns and shooty-shooties and... You, okay. I mean, I guess one, one can be, I guess both, both, both aspects can be true. You can have a distaste for guns while at the same time working on a video game, working on a shooter. Uh, I guess, maybe, make believe. You heard that right. The dev doesn't have an affinity for weapons yet worked on developing a squad based hero shooter. Strikes as someone who probably isn't the greatest fit for, I don't know, working on that type of game. Now, that I may agree with to a certain extent. Um, if you're going to have somebody working on a video game, then it might be a good idea to for, ha for that person to have an interest in most, if not all, aspects of that video game. So, if you have a shooter, a hero shooter, a first-person shooter, something maybe that uses swords, melee weapons, and stuff like that. You want someone working on that game that knows something about those weapons. Maybe it's just me? Yes? No? Let me know in the comment section down below. I appreciate you making it this far. Not being a fan of guns would be bad enough, but according to the source, Lisa was also advocating for the firing, oh boy, here we go, of any unvaccinated staff members, because that's going to affect you if you're vaccinated pausing a little bit hi youtube these stances while perhaps reflective of personal convictions are suggested to contribute to a divisive and uncomfortable atmosphere at firewalk studios uncomfortable atmospheres for sure will definitely lead to problems with the video game inability to communicate changes across the board somebody that maybe doesn't want to talk to you because you did not get the pokey poke hmm it's possible all kinds of things are possible. Let's continue. The impact of these internal dynamics is speculated to be a contributing factor to the lackluster performance of Concord during its beta release. Uh, could also be the fact that it's going to have a $40 price tag. It is a cookie cutter copy with new skins and new pronouns in the game in a market that's mm, uh, maybe not necessarily saturated completely, but definitely five years too late. Uh... Let's be real, the $40 price point didn't do it any favors, that's for sure. The game initially envisioned by Sony as a major release is going to end up being a massive, massive flop. There is no, no possible way. One report said that between the closed beta and the open beta, there was an 8% drop in player count on PlayStation, on the PlayStation Network. Now, that could be that people were, they already made their decision, those who wanted to play it made their decision, they're just going to wait for the game to come out because they don't want to waste their time. However, I can't imagine that to be the case because when you hand players a free game to play on the weekend, it's free, and it's a game that they are interested in, I strongly believe they will want to play it more and more and more to get some of the muscle memory under their belt, get some of that experience, know how to play the game, know how to play the characters that you're interested in. So... 8% drop from closed beta to open beta doesn't look really all that well. I say that because there were people complaining that it's not a Steam game. It's a PlayStation exclusive. The numbers on Steam don't matter. The numbers on Steam always matter, especially if you're selling it to PC gamers because PC gamers play everything, anything and everything, regardless, and they'll buy anything and everything. Just look at the backlog. Look at the backlog of games that have been purchased and never played or played for 10 minutes. I'll come back to it later. Concord would be a game that can end up there. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Purchased and then forgotten. Never mind. <laughs> the assertions made by the whistleblower are a part of a broader investigation into the studio's culture and operational efficiency. 
As I continue to gather and verify more information, a more comprehensive report is available to those who have joined as Smashers. Go ahead, Smash. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Absolutely. Totally shill for your stuff. I love it. This is an ongoing investigation into Firewalk Studios and the employees working there. There's lots of ongoing. It aims to cover the layers of complexity behind the scenes, providing a clear understanding of how personal dynamics and professional practices are un intertwining in the shape the culture of concord that game is going to how much is it going to flop preliminary look at the challenges of firewalk studios well when you have a game dev walking around wanting everyone to call them professor i am non-binary and you must call me professor if this is true if this whistleblower is in fact telling the truth this is wild how how would you like to work in an environment like that where you have to tell call your lead dev professor meetings with the professor teaching and learning with the professor i'm sorry this is not gilligan's island you are not wearing a white shirt and inventing things in a radio out of coconuts and sand so please forgive me uh, no you ain't it but hey more wonderful news coming out of concord because we got a plethora of flops coming out in the next few months but hey let me know what you think in the comment section down below leave a like leave a dislike do all those nifty little things us youtube is begging to do Thank you for making it this far, and I hope to see you on the next one.